There's a video where it's gone around where Obi was seen talking about some APC, uh, APC was a support group mm -hmm. um, sending him a message and so on and so forth. Let's take the items one by one and I want all of us to listen objectively. There are loads and loads of support groups that are not directly aligned with candidates and the party. Out of the zealousness of people, they form various groups that are not directly known to the party and it's across the board especially in the Labour Party and in the APC. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so if Obi got a message from an APC support, from from uh, those who call themselves an APC, APC support group, it might be, it might not even, the group might not necessarily be known or linked directly, um, you know, to the APC. So that is that. Secondly, take a look at that video and you can see he wasn't addressing the press conference. He wasn't addressing, uh, he wasn't granted an interview. I looked at the premises very well. It most likely looked like somebody's sitting room. So it appeared as if he was amongst friends. Now, did he authorize the release of that video? I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, but these are the questions I would want to ask as analysis. But having said that, what he has said is neither here nor there. To be honest with you, a lot of these things are making the rounds. I get loads of them, mm -hmm. you know, from various support groups. Even when mm -hmm. I said something, I got from some group that supported Obi some months back when I initially I had talked about structure and so on and so forth. So you do you do get these things. There's no point splitting hairs mm -hmm. over this. But Obi has to be a bit careful that he doesn't fall into an APC trap. You remember, uh, Sheriff, that um, some months back, I made a referral to what Bayon Onuga said, um, trying to link Obi with IPOP. Now, part of the strategy, I think, is to draw Obi out on a tribal front and set him against the rest of Nigerians. I think that is part of the strategy of the APC. I said I think. I don't know for sure. And to be honest with you, when it comes to politicians, I really couldn't be bothered. You know, they would do anything to get what they want. But in doing so, I beg that, you know, they show some sensitivity and responsibility. That also goes to their so-called supporters, especially those in the social media. In the social media, there are people who are taking note of things that everybody says. If, should there be a gaslight in this country, some people are definitely going to go to jail. Threats. Either I, Just this morning, I was sorting out various threats that were made to me just because I posted... Uh, somebody's comment on Delia Lake's uh, interview. It wasn't my comment. People forget, and I, I, I'm surprised that, you know, I think they do it more for mischief. As a journalist, I don't have to, I don't post to support. It's none of my business. But I post to inform. So if you don't like it, you can comment in a gentle, come put your comment in a gentlemanly manner uh, and stop insulting people. Um, I, I, but I just, I feel so, so, a lot of them are young people they don't know the implication of these things that they write. And, and I plead with them, for their own sake, not mine. Uh, you wouldn't find any of my children doing that. And I don't expect a, any well-brought-up person. If you support a candidate, talk about the virtues of, of your candidate. I don't see how bringing down the other candidate is, and then those who you think support him. If you knock me out of, you knock me out physically or whatever, how does that adds to the votes to, to either A or to B. Okay? So I'd like to plead, again, talking in general terms, to all parties involved, and that includes the, the APC, the Labour Party, the PDP, that please, please, please do not gaslight this country for personal ambitions. These things are very, very sensitive. Very, very sensitive that we keep saying. And the ripple effects could go far beyond even this election. Okay? And I think it would be sad. I don't think anybody wants to rule over a fractured uh, 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 country. The same also applies to this accusation that Kenyamo made. Uh, he, he, there's a statement that says, attention, okay, they talk about the video, and like I've given my whatever on that. And it says that they are also aware of plans are foot by Obi to fake an assassination attempt on himself and hire 
uh, Labour Party boys dressed in APC caps and T-shirts. This is infantile. I mean, for God's sake, this is infantile. However, if you think that there's some seriousness to it, Kayamo is an SAM. File, quickly file a report and hand it over to the security place to accuse somebody of this is, is, a, is, is, is a very serious offense. And we, if we shouldn't allow things like this go on. I'm not saying whether he's right or wrong now. But we shouldn't allow things like this go by under the cover of politics. Because again, the implications are far reaching. Having said that, I'm going to plead to the sensitivities. Let's all show maturity in this game.